Hello everyone, my name is Ahmed Shaltout. Today we are going to explain how to send a notification from your web application. Uh, we are going to use Laravel notification uh, for this purpose. Uh, what we are going to do here when the user logged in, we'll send the notification uh, to him that uh, the user just logged in. So as we can see here, we are using uh, steps from Laravel documentation, one of the best documentations I have ever read. So this is the code from the previous lesson of uh, authentication, login and registration controller, as you can see. This is the login controller, nothing new in the code. So let's get started. So, um, let's PHP artisan make notification uh, login notification. This is a class for sending the notification. It created a folder for us called notification, and this is the class. We sending a notification via email. As you can see, we will uh, uh, create uh, some variables for the message and subject, and from email and mailer. Mailer is the email we send from. We can add multiple email in configuration while uh, mail to PHP. Uh, you can add uh, another email as you can see but now we will send from smtp here i added for example ahmed this is another email and here's the email data come from the dot in file uh, the variables in dot in uh, for the environment uh, variables here there is mtp amateur2.com uh, test at amateur2.com this is the email we will use um, so let's uh, continue we need to um, set up the constructor here. So let's make a um, message equal. Um, you just logged in. And the subject of the email. It will be you just uh, uh, our log new login in. Then the email we send from just at ahmedshaltu.com and finally the mailer and it will be SNTP. So this is an example from Laravel, but we don't need it. So let's uh, create our email. Miller will be SMTB. And subject will be this subject. And the greeting. Uh, it will be hello uh, and the first name of the user we get as you can see here uh, we get the, the user data from uh, notifiable let's hold all the data of the user by default so um, first name now let's add a line and this is will be the message as you can see now we just set up our email with all the data we need let's uh, go back to the login controller uh, here I called the, the login notification uh, from add notification login notification Now let's, uh, after the login, uh, we'll uh, send the notification. 
user notify a new login uh, notification <coughs> So let's test it with a real email. Here I added my email. Uh, after login, I register register the user, and now I make a login. And we'll see if everything will be fine. It should be same. So I'll go back to my Gmail and see. Now this is the email and I have tested before. So here is the email, hello Ahmed, my first name. Um, this is a template, it's a template. We can edit this template. So let's see how we can do this. So we can do this by via PHP artisan vendor publish a dash dash tag. Uh, Laravel dash notifications. And the same thing it will be PHP artisan vendor publish dash dash tag equal uh, Laravel mail. And uh, <coughs> we can see the published files, published files uh, here in resources. Uh, resources view vendor. Um, here is the notification email uh, the plate of the email and this is the same and the components of Laravel we can edit them here is a variable this is a greeting it should be here and the lines and action text if we edit an action text and action uh, Oh, this is the part of parts here. This is the, lo the logo. Uh, we'll find it in the header. We can change it. By default, it's uh, if there is a condition, of course, and by default, it's a, a lot of logo. We can change it. This is buttons. We can edit them. The layout to my messages, table, everything from here. We can edit. Now, as you can see, we change, uh, can change the logo from here, and uh, we can also change the, uh, the application name uh, from uh, the .in file. Here, like uh, instead of Laravel, we can name it store. As you can see, and okay, in, in the new tutorial, we will learn more about email and sending email, like uh, verify email and one-time password for setting. Uh, this password of the user so for now thank you thanks for watching goodbye